All right, folks, welcome back to another rendition of Minchal and Mills. Today, I know it sounds crazy, we're gonna do shrimp skewers with tossed veggies on the grill. I'm gonna use shrooms, onions, pear, a little bit of squeeze of lemon, it's gonna be fantastic. Some the skewers gonna be sweet and sour shrimp. You really can't go wrong, then serve it with some rice. Prepare to be amazed. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop this down, get this to where I need it to be, go ahead and cut it in half. I'm gonna core it out real quick. All right, that's cord. I'm to clip the top because I'm not going to need the stem. All right, then dice it. Kind of a rough dice because it needs to go on the grill. All right, that's me chopped down. I'm going to add it to the rest of them. All right, then I got some white button mushrooms. I'm going to clean up and we're going to quarter them. We're going to dice down an onion, I'm going to toss it with a little olive oil, some salt, some pepper, some garlic, the basic stuff that I usually use. Keep on watching, it's going to be amazing. Alright, so with the white buttons, all we're going to do is quarter them, so I want them kind of big. Alright, here we have our shrooms, we're going to mix the pears in with that, we're going to dice down a red onion. And again, I just want a rough chop. I want them kind of big and something to, something to stick a fork into. So, real quick. All right, just a rub chop, give it a little toss. I'm gonna add just a little bit of lemon juice, maybe some zest. All right, got our lemon. Just a little bit of zest here. All right, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Just give it a little taste. Cut a little section. Just want a little bit of lemon juice. A little squeeze. All right, give it a little toss. Crack on some pepper. All right. Pinch of salt, a little toss. All right, this is gonna go on the grill with a little bit of olive oil. That way it doesn't stick to the pan. It's gonna be fantastic. All right, here we have our mixed veggies, shrooms, and pear. We're gonna put that on the grill. We're gonna cook this down. You can already hear it sizzling. It smells fantastic. Oh, I wish you could have smell a vision. This is going to be absolutely amazing. So I'm going to put the lid on it. We're going to let it sit just like this for about five minutes. We're going to check it because all I really want to do is make the shrooms soft, the onion soft, get that great grill smoke going for it. You know it's good because it's on the grill. All right, so this has been cooking down for about five minutes. You can already see it starting to soften up and everything that I'm looking for. We're going to put it on for another 10. That way just, the onions start to get nice and soft. I don't want them too crunchy. Just enough. Don't want them mushy. I still want a little crunch. But the mushrooms are going the way I want it. You can see how the pear is super soft. It's trying to get that great grill smell to it. I'm telling you folks, this is going to be absolutely amazing. And then I'm going to pair it off with this shrimp here. So half of them are going to be a sweet sweet and sour. The other ones I did plan for my kids because they don't eat the fun stuff yet because they're only five and three. So it's going to be really tasty. And what I'm using for my sweet and sour 
is a Kettleman sweet and sour sauce. I've tried this before. It's amazing. I would usually make my own, but I don't have enough time. So we're going to cheat it. And who cares if you cheat it? It's still going to taste delicious. All right, we're going to throw in our shrimps right over the coals. Get them nice and hot. You can see them cooking. It should only take about seven minutes top for these two. And then I got three more I'm going to throw on. And then that's going to be the end of it. Take about seven minutes for the shrimp. We're going to go ahead and mix it along with this guy. It's going to be fantastic.